Hey everyone, this is the Noble Artist here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my new Bounty Hunter, my new Mandalorian Bounty Hunter to be exact. Now, I showed you guys this figure a couple times oh, about a week ago, probably a little bit longer than that, and someone left me a comment saying, Hey, why didn't you make a review about your Mandalorian? And I was like, What are you talking about? I've already made one. So I went and looked, and I completely forgot to make this review. I did mention it several times in some videos, so I guess I assumed because it was in some videos that I've already made a review on it. So here is the review of this figure. Uh, this is the Mandalorian. I will show you a before and after so you guys can get a good idea of what I've done. Um, Scoot him over just a bit. So this is what Lego, this is what you get when you buy it. And then as you can see, I have made a few modifications. I uh, did my thing to this one. So um, this is what it looked like beforehand, just so you can get an idea of what I've actually done to the figure. Um, I will take the gun out of his hand. This is probably by far one of the coolest guns I've made. It would definitely be um, used again, probably for either Mandalorians or um, future figures. It's kind of like a, a shotgun, but you can it can be other things, but it's a shotgun for this figure. Um, but this guy has... I think I count them, and besides the backpack, I didn't count the backpack, I'm not sorry, the backpack, I didn't count the jetpack because it's not really a piece that I've added, but I do believe there's about 59 pieces on this figure that I added, um, so that kind of gives it some more perspective of what I've done. There's a little itty bitty bit of paint that's coming off right there, but I can put that back on, no problem. Um, so let me go ahead and get to the to the review. Um, with this figure, I put the boots on. This is just a piece of metal that I bent over the boot itself. I uh, got the knee pads, and I did add the fabric underneath the knee pad, but I did paint the legs black to give it um, more uh, just... I didn't want it to be blue, obviously, like this one, so I had to paint the legs black, and it looks nice to have two tones as far as the legs being a different color than the torso. So the legs, is, <clears throat> the legs are black, and... I had these two pieces. These are kind of like, I guess this would be like the shin pad, and those are like more of the knee pad. Um, and then I had the center piece, and I got five pieces of the fabric. Not fabric, five pieces of the fabric, that makes sense. Five pieces right here for the belt. Um, it is the single design, as you can see, it looks really nice. And then going here to the bandolier, I have three more of these shotgun shells. Um, you can use your imagination. They can. You know, if it's not a shotgun shell, then it's whatever it is, it's the ammunition for the gun because it has the same on this side. Um, these, on the other hand, these are kind of tricky. This piece I cut out of a, it was kind of a hose, not really a hose, I'm not sure how you explain it. It's just kind of this wiring for like electricity or like electrical parts. Um, not really sure what this is, but I had a lot of wiring, so I cut off some of that, and then these silver. I'm not sure well you can see those in this light, it's kind of a glare, but the silver um, bands that you see over these are actually pieces of metal. So there's a really small piece of metal that I cut out to put around um, those. So I just kind of went for that extra detail um, with that. And then of course the bandolier, I will put this, this is actually on my list for tutorials, how to make these um, shoulder bandoliers like this. Um, and over here he has two thermal detonators um, on his chest, those are painted up, got a little red button on there. Um, these, these can be even more grenades, more detonators, flashbangs, you can use them for whatever. They're just three cylinders, um, that I have on his arm. You can use your imagination for this stuff, um, cause I, you know, I didn't want to limit it to one thing. And then I have two ammo packs right here on the arm, and that black band is actually another piece of metal. It's not just paint, it's, um, so there's four pieces just in this one right here, thing on the arm right there. Um, then I got these two more, these blue um, packs right here on the side. Now I was trying to figure out what color to add because I needed another color. So I added this dark navy blue to it and I think it turned out really well. Um, moving over to the side that we're already on, I have a pistol right here, the pistol holster. This is the Jenga Fett style pistol. It works really well for Mandalorians too. So, I mean, he is one. Um, so I just uh, put that on there. Pauldron is painted two different colors. I outlined everything, the pauldron and the comma with brown, um, the darker brown that it's painted. Um, the backpack, well, I keep saying backpack, jetpack, sorry, jetpack um, painted has about five colors on it. Um, very nice. This side is the same other than it doesn't have 
those two packs on the shoulder. Um, and then I got the neck guard right there. You can see the neck guard under that guy. And then the helmet. Helmet is a really nice design. I have this kind of dark maroon stripe going down the middle with these two smaller stripes on either side right there. Um, and then the back is painted, got some black detailing and some silver on the back of the helmet. And then I've got the blue accented onto either side because I kind of had that blue theme going a little bit throughout here. I didn't want to overcrowd it with blue, but I think it turned out pretty good. It's not too much. Um, and then one of the cooler features for the helmet is this rangefinder is actually one of my working rangefinders. So you can, have, you can actually move it down in front of his face um, so he can use this one, which is really awesome. Um, which I haven't done a whole lot of, but I wanted to make this character extra cool. So, and it actually comes out too. So if you want, you can take it off. You can apply it to other figures, um, if you want. So that is the rangefinder. He has a Mandalorian head. Actually, I think it might be a clone head. I think it's a clone head because I think that's the Mandalorian head. I don't really care because it looks cool and I like it. So that's him without his helmet. There's his pauldron over his shoulder, very nice. Put his helmet back on. And the cool thing about this color scheme is I can do a lot of different, like, not color scheme, but the the design I can do again. I can just change the color up and look really good. Um, where did my tweezer bees go? Aha, found them. Um, one other thing is that I painted the entire torso uh, maroon. This is the custom color that I, I made. I mixed my red with black and it gave me this deep maroon color. And I painted the side, you can see the size of the arm. And then if you take the, the uh, jet pack off, his whole back is painted maroon as well. So the whole figure, his, it's like his undershirt is maroon, which is really awesome. Moving on to the gun. This is a standard blaster rifle that I cut the barrel off and I cut the stock off, resized it, turned it upside down, put it back on, trimmed the top of it off. Um, and then the scope is toothpick. Um, that I propped up a little bit right there for a piece of plastic, and then I just painted that. And these are toothpick as well. Actually, no, those aren't toothpick. Those are parts of this wire wiring that I used. And then I just looped those all around, ignore that sound, um, and then I just painted those up. The more detail, the more not you don't want to overcrowd it with colors, but I got the silver band and I put the black dots. Um, and there, that silver band you see is actually metal as well. I try to use as much uh, metal as that. Like, just adding a little extra details uh, makes a lot of difference. The barrel is a toothpick that I painted silver. The bottom part of the barrel is actually a piece of metal that I wrapped around, um, painted the end of it. And then I put this blue dot right there for the scope. Blue dot on the other side. Now, I kind of bubble this blue dot, so I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it kind of pops out a little bit which I think gives it some nice detail. So, very nice gun. I will probably do a tutorial on this weapon if you guys want to see it. Um, so yeah, this is my um, bounty hunter, my Mandalorian bounty hunter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, please hitchhike it. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Um, I did not get a chance to reply to a lot of comments lately. Um, I'm actually several days behind, so if you guys left me a comment on my last several videos, I apologize. I will try to get to those today and leave you guys some comment or leave you guys feedback um, on, on all those comments. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, don't forget if you leave a shout out, if you're the I mean if you leave a comment, um, if you're the first one, you get a shout out in my next video, which will be placed right up here. If you want to help me out a whole lot, you can hit the subscribe button right up in this corner. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. Um, I got some cool things, some cool new ideas, um, some giveaways and some reviews and just some cool stuff coming down coming down the line. So stay tuned for that. Um, you guys have a great day. God bless. And I will see you later.